Okay, problem 2.24 reads for the configuration of problem 2.16, this one. Find the potential difference between a point on the x-axis, on the axis, in this case, this, this axis, okay, to a point on the outer cylinder. Note that it is not necessary to commit yourself to a particular reference point if you use equation 2.22. And what is equation 2.22? This is equation 2.22. In this case, equation 2.22, the potential difference between two points, points at A and B, will just be equal to the negative integral of the line integral of the electric field from A to B. Okay, and this can be broken down into these two parts. We're in script O, it can be any reference point. Okay, so this expression is the same as this expression. Okay, so here we now have, let's say we choose, uh, as, as mentioned here, we're looking at the axis. So in this case, the axis would be here. So this would be the axis. Okay. Uh, let me just okay. Let me just adjust that. Okay. So if we're going to draw the the uh, when you, when we're going to draw this configuration, we're in the configuration would be uh, there are two radii A and B. Okay. So we're looking at the electric uh, pot electric potential between two points, this point and then outer side, wherein the point would be uh, a distance greater than the outer cylinder. So if we're going to look at this configuration facing this one, facing this way, okay, it would look something like this. Okay, so uh, this will be your outer cylinder. And this will be your inner cylinder. Okay. So in this case, this will be the axis. This will be A. And this will be B. Okay, so for a problem 2.16, we have three regions, points less than A, points between A and B, and then points outside B. Okay, so let's go back to this problem. So we're going to employ this part. So in this case, we're going to choose uh, between uh, a point at the outer cylinder and at the point at the axis, okay? At the point on the axis, the distance will be equal to zero, okay? So in this case, uh, A would be equal to zero. On the other hand, the point outside, beyond the outer cylinder, okay, S would be equal to uh, B. Okay, so in this point. Okay, so we're looking for the potential difference between this point and this point. So this becomes B. Okay, now it's mentioned here that it is not necessarily to commit yourself to a particular reference point. Okay, but let's say we can choose, for example, A as our reference point. So that means this becomes zero. Okay, so that's negative integral from zero to B becomes negative integral of zero to A and then A to B. Okay, so now how are we going to do this? Now, since we know that the two regions 
the electric field are given as follows. So what are these two regions? The electric field inside A, we already know from problem 2.16 that this is equal to rho x. Okay, you can refer your you can refer to the pro, to problem 2.16 later. So that's rho s divided by 2 epsilon s hat. And we determine this by using Gauss law. Okay. Also, the electric field between A and B. So that means S is greater than A and less than B. So this is equal to rho A squared divided by 2 epsilon S S hat. Okay, so again, these two expressions of our electric field has been solved in 2.16. Okay, and we're going to use these two here because remember that when we integrate this line integral between A and B, we need to know what is the electric field between A and B. So in this case, we're going to use this expression here. Because this is the electric field between A and B. On the other hand, the electric field between 0 and A would be this electric field. Okay, now let's do the math. Now, the potential negative integral of rho a squared divided by 2 epsilon 1 over s s hat. This one. And then, we take the dot product of this to dl. Okay, because the point between A and B, this would be our DL vector because we're going from A to B. So this DL vector will be DS S hat. Because remember, ano ba yung DL for cylindrical? What is DL in cylindrical? The DL in cylindrical is given by uh, let me review my DL. Okay, the DL in cylindrical would be equal to DS S hat plus S D phi phi hat plus DZ Z hat. Because this element, this because the displacement DL will be in this direction. So that means there is no change in the phi, well, there is no angular change because this expression is difference change in the phi direction. Because there is no change in phi direction here, this is zero. The same goes with Z, because the point this that did not move, or the two points with, with, with did not move from uh, along the Z axis, so DZ will also be zero. So that's why DL is equal to DS S hat. So in this case, this becomes DS S hat. Okay, so this is the first term. The second term will just follow. So this negative integral of rho s, or we can we can uh, we can type in the s here. So that's rho over two epsilon times s s hat dotted it with d s s hat. The limits of integration will be from a to b, and then from zero to 
Okay, this is constant. So this is negative rho a squared over 2 epsilon. And then this is a dot product s hat dot s hat is 1. So this becomes ds over s integral from a to b minus rho over 2 epsilon times the integral of uh, from 0 to a of s ds. Okay. So the first part becomes an nn. So this is negative. Uh, yeah, so this is negative uh, rho a squared divided by 2 epsilon naught times natural logarithm of s evaluated from a to b minus rho divided by 2 epsilon naught times s squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to a. Okay. So this is ln b over a. This is a squared over 2. So if we're going to some, uh, simplify this, we now have negative rho a squared divided by 4 epsilon naught times 2 ln of b over a plus 1. This is now the result, or this is now the potential difference between a and b. Okay? 